everybody welcome back to the druids then um so i'm very busy editing the uh 12 by 24 tiny home from start to finish video so basically i'm just going to be doing a quick little uh tour of around the garden and show y'all uh, how everything's growing and everything this week um, so that i can get back to work and finish the tiny home video for next weekend all right let's get started here so for starters, well you can see apple tree is leafing out, it's looking great. This is a gala apple tree. It's first year in. I actually got it for free. Somebody returned it from my work. They thought it wasn't doing well enough, so I decided to give it a shot here. Um, down here we've got our our fig. Looking pretty good. Now we just bought that as basically just a stick at the, I think it was like Tractor Supply or something and put it in about a month ago. It's doing great. It survived a couple of kind of cold days too. It got to about 30, so um, right now it's about 60 degrees. Here's my Brazos Blackberry. This thing is leafing out like crazy. It looks really good. This might be its best year yet. I think it's finally getting used to being in here. Um, got a little honeysuckle that's starting to do pretty well over here going up the fence. I really want it to fully take over this fence someday in the future. So it's kind of the goal here. There's a little more. It's kind of even a bigger pile of honeysuckle here. My poor star jasmine completely died when it went to negative 15 so that's a goner sadly but we've also got this wisteria right here just starting to grow a lot of just random things I planted I, I basically just threw a pile of uh, uh, wildflower seeds in there I did that all over the place but you can still see a couple of other random things like this little pansy that's growing it's just left over from last year, I think. I thought that was pretty cool. Let's take a look here. Just some random salvias that are growing. I was glad to see, I know this just looks like a pile of sticks to y'all probably, but we've got, well, let me see if I can get a good shot of it. Little tiny bits of growth. This is a pomegranate. I've had it in for a few years and it wasn't doing anything, but it's finally starting to go, so that's great. Uh, we've got our Nanking cherry here. Just got planted this year, but it's looking happy too. Let's see, yeah, just a little iris planted. Not much else growing up right here. I mean, we got the rose bush, but nothing's happening with it yet. That was also one I was given that was a return at my work, and so. Can't guarantee it's gonna come back, but I think it will. Little salvia gregii, this'll probably take off like crazy soon. Let's head towards the uh, stuff we can actually eat. So, in here we've got a bunch of onion, like small red onion everywhere. Um, this is a nice big onion. I think it's like a yellow onion right there. Um, little tiny bit of garlic but everything else is just onion in there and there's a sunflower in the back here we've got well, this is a bunch of kale here a couple of sunflowers coming up um, this is I think it's called like mesquin or something just a type of lettuce or like a loose leaf lettuce I don't remember what it is uh, it's a chard over here I think it's like a Swiss chard this one might be the mesclin. It's all lettuce over here. I can't remember what the type is, but. Got our biggest sunflower going in the middle here. This is some radish. It's all doing great. Got some green onions we just planted after we, uh, we were cooking with them. We just threw the little white bits on the bottom in there and they just started taking off, so that's great. And that's some potatoes from last year growing up and we've got tomatoes growing here too you can just barely tell 
It's like these little tiny things that are growing. And over here, yeah. So you can see a little bit of tomato growing. That's where it's eventually gonna come up. And some really tiny chives here as well. That's in the front bed. In the back here, I've um, got a bunch of onion, red onion right here growing. And then back here, this is just a ton of cucumber I've got. It's gonna be running all the way up this fence line here. That's what this little bit of fence is. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I was really glad to see my Fuyu persimmon is, I thought it might die because it said online, I think it said somewhere around like zero degrees is all it could take. Um, and we got into negative 15. So I was <laughs> a little worried it wasn't gonna come back, but I've been watering it like crazy and we're seeing some growth. So I'm very excited. What else have we got here? Let's take a look at all the uh, blackberry we've got and the strawberry over here. It's uh, my berry area. We've got, oh, we also have an armadillo that's been visiting us lately, tearing up my yard. So that's it's a little annoying. It's been messing with the strawberries too, but thankfully it hasn't done too much damage yet. And I think I have the yard fenced in pretty well, so it's frustrating, but what can you do? So you can see tons of blackberries. This is all blackberry. One of the bad things about blackberry, if you have it on the side of your yard, is you end up with a lot of this. Um, it's growing up in my yard everywhere. So I'm gonna have to, and you can just see it just keeps shooting up all along, uh, pretty far out into the yard, but I'm gonna keep digging it up and just keep planting it along the side here. Uh, it's probably gonna be a constant problem for me, but at the same time, I don't mind because I want all that fruit. So yeah, they look great. And yeah, this is the elderberry right here. I have yet to get fruit from the elderberry, but I'm hoping that this is the year. It's looking nice and big, so maybe we'll have a chance this time. Just a bunch more blackberry along here. And then here is where all my strawberries are. You can see a little bit of damage from the armadillo along the side, but nothing too crazy. But yeah, thankfully we've got a lot of berries on the way. You can see, and there's just flowers everywhere, so that'll be coming soon. And you can see the red rocks here. We actually did a short on this to explain it. I learned this from other YouTube channels. I can't remember which ones, but it seems to be on just about everybody's channel now. But these taking like rocks like this and painting them red setting them out here by the strawberries supposedly it stops getting uh stops birds getting on the uh, strawberries because they come down here and peck at these and they aren't as interested when they see the other strawberries show up so it'd be interesting to see how well that works this time but it was never really much of an issue for us as far as uh birds go it was more of a like a roly-poly situation for me i know i think i read somewhere they said that they're not the ones who who like open it they just eat them after they're already ripped open or something but as far as I can tell they're eating it from the very beginning so that's been that's been what we've been dealing with and not much else growing in the back at the moment um, we really just have some some hookah some coral bells going crazy back here over here and right here I was really happy with that too all these things that I never would have thought would survive negative 15 weather but hey it did so really happy with that oh yeah and we've got some new neighbors again um, let's see if you can see them there's cows down there so they're gonna be coming up here soon Hopefully not pushing through my fence. We'll find out. But you know, that's about it for what we've got growing right now. Um, I can't think of anything else. So 
Well, well, I mean, we've got a ton of herbs as well that are growing and in, in pots inside. I showed you all a little bit last time, but they're also small still. I'm not going to bother. Um, yeah, it's just a bunch of uh, wildflower seeds and stuff I threw in. There's a little bit of peppermint I just stuck in the top there. I just, um, I had cut too big of a piece, so I just pulled the leaves off and stuck it in. It actually uh, did just fine. It's growing great. Something I'm hoping will show up here, but I think it's dead. Most of the other seeds, just all the same stuff here. And then this I was thrilled about too. The grape. It's my grapevine. I thought that it was definitely dead. So, really thrilled about that. Otherwise, we got a struggling pineapple over here. It's looking worse and worse. I'm not too sure about that one. And lemon tree but uh, yeah that's about it so uh hope you don't don't mind watching a video like this this week uh if you're into gardening at least i hope and uh if you're not and you're just waiting for the house uh should have the video out next week so thanks guys all right bye